Okay, I'm gonna try to make this intro quick because this is already a really long video. This is Can You Beat Skyrim Special Edition Using Only Illusion Magic, Part 1. Because this video is so long, I didn't actually anticipate it to be over an hour long. Um, I'm only about halfway through my footage, so to make this more viable for me to edit and for you to watch, I'm gonna do this half today, and then by the end of the week, second video and the second half of this playthrough will be posted. Hopefully part 2 will be closer to half an hour or 40 minutes, something like that. That was what this video was intended to be, but I just got so much content and it was quite good. So I decided to just keep most of it in rather than just condensing and condensing and condensing. So yeah, can you beat Skyrim Illusion Magic only? Let's find out. For this challenge we're going to be doing a high elf because they start out with high level illusion and the fury spell so we can actually do stuff straight off the rip. Alright, I think this is going to be who we are playing as. Oh man, everyone loves the intro of Skyrim. I've seen this probably 200 times. Why me? Why not Alfric Stormcloak, you know? The guy who you so desperately want to execute? Why not him? Oh, okay. Please be gentle, this is my first time being executed. Yay, I'm saved. Alright, I think I'm gonna side with my main lad, Hadvar. Just because, you know, most of the people who play Skyrim are Raeloth elitists. And don't get me wrong, I love racist Raeloth just as much as the next guy. But sometimes Pretty Boy Hadvar is the best option. Oh, thank you so much, Pretty Boy. Oh my god, I am like six foot two. Jesus. Okay, let me go over the rules of the challenge. I am not allowed to have uh, followers. I'm not allowed to do any damage myself. And I'm not allowed to use any magic, any shouts, anything like that to do anything. The only thing I could use in any combat situation is illusion magic. So the only one we have right now is creatures and people up to level 6 will attack anything for 30 seconds. Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure you can't really do much in Helgen Keep. It's, it's pretty scripted to be illusion proof, but it actually is rocking. Oh my god. I didn't expect it to actually, like, <laughs> work. Also, this is played on expert mode. I always play expert mode because adept is boring in my opinion. Come on, Hadvar, take care of him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow, Hadvar, that was pretty brutal. I don't really think I'm gonna need to be looting. I don't imagine I would need much money. Actually, thinking about it, I probably will need money to buy more spells. So we are gonna be looting. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty sneak-oriented build as well. That's, that's really cool. Part of the reason I'm actually doing this challenge is because I don't believe Illusion is a very useful school of magic. Oh my god, he went flying. So to sort of kind of uh, force myself to actually use <laughs> Illusion magic. That's why I'm doing this challenge, because I, I never use Illusion. Because why would I? It sucks. Alright, let's let them yammer on. I'm gonna unlock this. Um, I don't know if we'd be better off wearing this, to be honest. I think having a high defense would be extremely valuable to me. Because I can't fight back in any situation. Although, to be honest, I might just avoid combat in any situation I possibly can. I'm gonna see if I can hit... The archer too. Cause as much mayhem as I possibly can. Look at this, it's like an arena. <laughs> wow, look at how effective it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, Hadval, you gotta help. Help me! What if I'm just like one shot, bro? Come on. Oh my god, Hadval, relax. That'll teach you to cross me. Nice. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't come for me. No, why do they always do that? Okay, so that's one of them dead. One of them is also really low. Ooh, oh my God, why do they always come for me? Go attack your your friend. Yes, yes, yes. What? There we go. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay, illusion 26, that's pretty good. 
Can't believe the frostbite poison affects each other though. That is quite crazy. Is he low? Uh, not really. Even if he was, there's nothing I can really do about it. I wonder if I can just straight up sneak by him. Let me sneak. Oh no, I don't think I can. Is he gonna see me? Oh my god, he saw me. Okay, let's just run. Maybe I can make him fight the bear. Where is he? Okay, I think he's leaving me alone. Let's just let's just leave Helgen Keep. And just like that, we have officially left Helgen Keep. We currently only have one illusion spell. And let's be honest, it's not even that great. So I do have a few ideas in mind for how we can make this a little bit more possible. My first idea involves the standing stones. However, it's a bit of a uh, kind of good, maybe not idea. For now, we're going to accept the mage stone. But I think what we may do is make a beeline for Riften where we can accept the shadow stone, which allows you to become invisible for 60 seconds once a day and that is ob for obvious reasons absolutely insanely good let's uh i don't really know if we can take on ambush on mine what we can do to kill this bandit we can lure her over here to these wharves there's usually more than just one yep she's coming uh there's usually two more i don't know where they're at oh there they are okay we found all of them we're gonna cause interfighting between the two groups, the wolves and the bandit. Okay, they seem to be fighting, except for this one. He really is set on me for some reason. Then I'm just gonna quickly conf try and confuse as many of them as I can. Oh my god. This is not working out how I thought it would. This fox is just kinda chilling. Damn. I think more people should be like this fox. Did she kill all of the fucking wolves? Oh my god. God, she did. Uh, let's lead her on down to Riverwood, I think. Let's make Alvor beat her up. Oh my god. Just gonna keep using this spell as often as I can to level up Illusion. Hey, it's Hadvar. I didn't realize he was that quick. Alright, you know, the NPCs should take care of that on their own. Let's see if I can... Oh my god, Alvor is ready for the heat. Damn. Hadvar. Alright, let's just skip through this dialogue. It's unimportant. Let's see, any good supplies? Not really. Hello, Lucan. He might have a book for me. Clairvoyance. Uh, I don't need that. We already have Fury. Alright, he has nothing. I'm just gonna sell the novice robes. I mean, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the back. Alright, I guess we can get the quest from you. I would like to get to level 2 as fast as I possibly could, just so I can have sneak. So we're gonna go back to Embershard Mine and see if we can't finish this up. The main flaw with this strategy is that we, 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 we can't really kill every enemy in a given situation because even if we confuse them, there's always gonna be one who stays alive till the end. Uh-oh. Please don't see me. Oh, come on. Fight your friend. Yes. Okay, let's get rid of these torches. They're giving me away. Okay, I leveled up Sneak. That's really good. We'll put that point into Magicka, obviously. And we're actually not going to get Novice Illusion yet. I'm actually going to put this into Sneak so that I'm 20% harder to detect. Okay, the Illusion sort of wore off. There we go. Nice. And he's also really low. Oh, I completely forgot that he's looking for me. Oh, come on! Fuck! Why did they have to move forward in that situation? Okay, we're gonna have to sort of rush through this next bit. Ooh. What? There's usually two more that show up. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why they're, they're not... Okay, 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 okay. I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do. Oh, I missed. And now I just run right by them. Goodbye, my friend. Oh my god. Okay, he did see me. Ouch. Okay, uh, we still got him following me, but I think I can quickly loot this room. <laughs> I just really need to get to that chest. And nothing really insane. I three. I think he gave up on me. 
I don't know why, but I'm not complaining, honestly. Okay, so this next bit is gonna be relatively difficult. Oh my god, I actually hit it. Okay, let's backtrack. So the archer should be fighting the two-handed guy. Where did the other one go? Oh, right next to me. Okay, that's one down. Must be my imagination. She just gonna stand like that? Oh no. Oh no. I may be in over my head at the moment. Okay. Nope, it was nothing. She's gonna go that way, so I need to run this way. Uh, uh oh. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Oh my god, I'm out of Magicka now. Oh my god. Yes! Why are you going for me? I'm, de I'm detected. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. That was the most one-sided fight I've seen in my life. She doesn't know? She's stupid? She doesn't know. She knows. Okay, let's just run. Get the loot. Keep running. Loot, 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 money, 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 money. Get the chest. Take everything. And let's keep going. Let's just ignore the last chest. It, it's, it doesn't matter. We got most of the loot. And just for fun. Okay, I missed. She doesn't follow me, does she? Good. I noticed we got like an amulet of Debella. Uh, that's not really good. I mean, I'm, I may as well equip it, right? Alright, after selling all of that stuff, we now have a nice 1,000 bucks. And we are officially almost level 3. Pretty good start, if you ask me. So I don't know if you guys remember that issue I was talking about, where we can't truly win a fight. Because even if we cast Illusion and confuse everybody, there's still gonna be one guy who wins the fight. Well, I have a sort of a fix to that issue. It's a spell tome that Farangal should sell me. It's called Calm. As you could possibly imagine, it calms down enemies. So we're gonna use Fury to make them kill each other, and then when the last guy is left, we simply use Calm on him, and then, you know, we just run by. Oh, I think that speech check just leveled me up. That's actually really nice. Yep, it did. Beautiful. Another point into Magicka. And now, we buy Novice Illusion. There is also a second option. Instead of using Calm, we can simply use uh, Fear, which is m the opposite of Calm. It makes them afraid and run away. That one is relatively annoying in my opinion, like in a normal gameplay, because why would you want an enemy to run away from you? But in this challenge, I believe it would be pretty helpful. Oh, leave me alone, Irileth. Let's just skip through all of this. Yay, thank you so much, Falgruff. You. Blah, 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 blah. Bleak Falls Barrow, Dragonstone. None of that is important. What is important is the spells he has. Calm. Creatures and people up to level 9 won't fight for half a minute. Courage. Targets won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. I couldn't really see a situation where this is useful, but I'll buy it anyways, you know, because maybe, just maybe. Fear, creatures people up to level 9 flee from combat for half a minute. Muffle, you move more quietly for 180 seconds. That's what, 3 minutes? God damn. Alright, that is a lot we've just unlocked at once. We unlocked Calm. Clairvoyance, I guess, and you know, all of the all of the rest. So a few of these are apprentice, um, but that's not a big issue because I can actually afford this since I have the 50 extra magicka that a, a high elf has. Plus I put two points into magicka, plus an extra 30 from the hood. So yeah, apprentice, courage is novice, which makes sense because it's kind of fucking useless. Fear is also apprentice and muffle, yet again, apprentice. I can already foresee that this high costage of uh, stuff, you know, these all cost over a hundred each, except for Fury, which is cheap, and uh, Courage, which I'm not going to use, probably. They all cost over a hundred, so I can't really cast multiple of them in quick succession, which I may need to do. But I think for now, we should be relatively well off. I mean, we can always just, you know, if push comes to shove, I could go to the College of Winterhorde and buy Novice Robes of Illusion. I may have to join the College of Winterhorde anyways, for other reasons, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Alright, we're gonna go straight for Bleak Falls Barrow, I think. 
Uh oh. I guess we could try this out on my on these pit wolves. Uh, whoops, not that. Let's make them fight each other, please. Okay, nice. And then this guy won, so we can just use... Okay, he's actually gonna run away because he's low HP. Um, that's perfectly fine, okay. And boom, calm. That's so cool. I can even wait right next to him if I want to get my Magicka back. Although he is going to be mad at me. Oh my god. So annoying. I'm going to use Muffle so that I can sneak up this way a bit more quickly. And then I'm also, I think I'm going to use Highborn to quickly get my Magicka back. That may not have been an optimal usage, but, you know. I'm warning you. Okay, well, it doesn't matter anyways. They should start fighting each other now. And while they do that, I'm gonna quickly run by and loot. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, you know what? You can just calm down, I think. I don't need to- I don't need you to be fighting me. And then he, he might actually go down and kill the other one. Maybe not. He- for some reason, he's also calm. Okay, never mind. I guess he just didn't see me somehow. So this is looking like a pretty efficient setup we have right now. What I'm worrying about is, uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do about the Drago Overlord. But, I think that's just another one of those, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, type situations. Oh come on, how does she see me? I have Muffle. Yes. I got the two-handed guy too, so he's probably gonna win this fight. Nice, nice. He might- he might lose. Okay, well one of them's down. It looks like the other two may be fighting based off the compass. I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it wore off. No, no, no. Yes. Oh, she won. Damn, I really did not expect that. And somehow I'm not detected right now. Okay. Guess I'll just loot. Man, she is dumb as fuck. Alright, I guess I do have Muffle. That would make sense. Can I just sneak by? No way she just let me do this. Where is she? Where is she? Why is she running? Whoa. Whoa, why are you running at me? Oh, she's cheating. She's literally using wall hacks right now. <laughs> Must be my imagine. What was that? Why? <laughs> You're literally so cheating. Ah, hey, someone had to take it, right? Can I pickpocket? I can. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> Thanks for the iron dagger. <laughs> that could be an interesting strategy though. If I get pickpocket to level 100, you can take off people's armor and weapons. So maybe I could use calm on them and just take all of their stuff. Like, that could be a legitimate strategy. Huh? Okay, I know I'm causing chaos right now, but we should actually take this level up. And apprentice illusion. Now I can cast these spells much cheaper. Okay, I'm really liking this strategy. Now he's just gonna let me loot everything. I'm gonna sleep really quick. Smear, you won't be here alive. So that I can get the rested bonus. Bro really thought he was gonna take me on. Alright, I bid you farewell, my friend. Good luck guarding the entrance. I wonder if you can pickpocket a Drago. Because if you can, what that makes me think is if I calm down the Drago Overlord, if I can even do that, can I pickpocket? The Dragonstone off of him? We're just gonna wait for this guy to kill himself, I think. There's no need to overcomplicate it. So, um... This next little bit's gonna be a bit of a doozy. I do have to use some kind of weapon in order to break the web. I'm pretty sure the Frostbite Spider is too high level to just simply calm down. Let's see... No, that is not the case. I definitely thought he would be really tough. It's coming loose. I can but, um... Yeah. 
If we follow Alvel the Swift, he should just die to his own fate. As a matter of fact, I may just sit back and watch. The Jogger resist? Oh, that is definitely not good. <laughs> what was that? Is he gonna do it too? Oh my god, he almost did. They resist every spell? Whoa. Okay. So, that really throws a, a wrench in my plan. Wow, that really throws a wrench in my plan. I think I'm gonna have to resort to some grade A tomfoolery in that case. I think we kinda just have to slowly inch our way past this room as to not wake the undead. Okay, that didn't wake him. Yeah, we're, just, we're really just gonna have to sneak by nice and slow and watch where you step. Oh, Jesus. I never actually... I never actually tried to sneak past these guys. Uh... <laughs> okay, this there's two in this room. Quick! Oh my god! There's no way I actually just did that. That is crazy. That is actually so funny. I've never done that before. We're doing Bleak Falls Burial, the pacifist route. Yeah, put that away, big man. Uh oh. He saw me. Uh, please! Oh my god. You know what's funny? Can you leave me alone? I sort of just realized if I used a muffle, that would have made that horse situation a lot less intense. Oops. Silly me, I guess. Okay, this guy, we can't really sneak by that easily. I think we sort of can. Yeah, he's gonna go that way. Okay, this is, this is our chance. And I think we're good. Okay, let's just recast muffle, just in case. I mean, it obviously hasn't been three minutes yet, but you know. Okay, so for this guy, we're gonna have to incorporate a little bit less sophisticated tactics, I believe. 3, 2, 1, go! He didn't even notice! What?! That was the most blatant- <laughs> That was the most blatant shit of my life. And he just didn't see me run right by him. Ouch. Okay, there's three Draugr in this room. I assume they're going to be a bit less oblivious. Yeah, run right into those, please. That would be nice. What? He he just did that on his own. Okay. I didn't really want to use traps cuz I felt like that was pretty cheap, but he kind of just he he, he kind of just did it to himself. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Oh my god. This would be so freaky. In real life. So as long as they can't see me... Okay, well he saw me. As long as they don't see me, they can't hear me. So let me just... I'm like this close to being detected. Oh my god. There's no way they didn't see me do that. This just turned into like a really intense pacifist run. So there is an ability that lets illusion work on, on undead and automatons. But that's at level 90 illusion, and we have to get all of these perks before it. I do kind of want to get dual casting, I think that would help a lot. Kindred Mage would help a lot, Quiet Casting would help a lot. Um, let's get dual casting just to start off, I think. Yeah, I am really wondering how exactly we're gonna do this. All right, let's see. I wonder if I could uh, get the dragon show. I have muffle equipped right now. And then just hide. Is he gonna stay facing that direction? Uh oh, he saw me. Okay, let me quick load. Yeah. So, it seems like the only option I have is either A, use traps to kill him, which is kind of cheese in my opinion. We either have that option or this option. Oh my god. Technically, 
we should do this as it's the non-cheating, quote, cheating method. I almost feel like this is even more cheating than using a trap. Okay, let, let, let's just use the trap, guys. I don't know how much hits he's gonna be able to take. Okay, wow. Surprisingly few. And, okay, this guy's still alive, but honestly, I'm just gonna ignore him. Alright, Blake Falls Barrow is officially done. Jesus Christ, of course I've this guy's gonna be looking for me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. That's probably just gonna be some, uh, Creation Club stuff that I think I will ignore. Alright, I have the Gordon Claw, Lucan. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll Give me my money. This. Nice. Now I can take those potions with no repercussion. I'm also gonna steal this potion, I think, just to help me with that dragon fight coming up soon. Ah, I have the dragon stone. Have yeah, 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 Balgo. Thank you. Come on, please be good. It is alchemy. That is not gonna help me in the slightest, Balgo. All right. Well, this dragon fight should be pretty easy, seeing as dragons, uh, you can't use illusion on. I'm probably just gonna have to wait for Aerolith and the White Run Guards to take care of him for me. So I guess I should make things a little bit more clear. Two things. I said in the rules, no followers, and I can't use any Dragon Shouts in any situation. Obviously, I'm making the exception that if the game forces me to have a follower, like right now, or like when Delphine helps me at Kindsgrove, then obviously that doesn't disqualify the challenge. Like, obviously, the game, that's a, that's a scripted thing for the game, so. Here he is, the main man himself. Did he just use a war horn? Why would he do that? Let's see, can I use it on him? Yeah, he resists. So I guess it's just the waiting game. I bet I could use courage on these guys, couldn't I? The one usage for courage. Which, this gives them more HP and I think it makes them more brave. Alright, they are all couraged up. I'm just gonna keep casting it on them. Did I just kill him with courage? My bad. Bro got so brave he had a heart attack and died. Okay, I think my courage isn't helping. It's actually making them run in and die. No, please don't die. No! Oh my god. I think it's just Aerolath now. I won't let this happen to you. Oh my god. Come on, you're good. I don't see any more guards. Oh, here we go. Come on, bro, get in the fight. He's almost at half. No, where are you going? We need you to help. Stand a chance. Whoa. No, he's gonna die. Oh my god. Is he dead? He's not. Good, good, good. Why does the courage kill them? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I need a potion. Oh, I don't want to use this yet. Like, I feel like there's a much better chance, like, opportunities. Is Aerolith down? She is. I don't want to give her courage, because she might die. I thought the guards respawned. They do, he's just hiding. Uh oh. Uh oh, a uh, double uh oh. Okay, I really do not need this right now. Common spells not working higher level opponents. How good timing. Here's to teach you a lesson. Yeah, like fuck you all. Ah! Okay, I need magicka. That should be enough. Hey, do you three want to help? Can you? Can I maybe drag them over here and get them to help with the dragon? Uh-oh, it wore off? Hey, shoot at them. I don't have any more magicka, please. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh my god, this is not good. I don't know why, why is this happening? Who, who sent them? Is it's, it's either Luke and Valerius, because I stole the resist fire potion, or it's the bandit at Bleak Falls Barrow who I pickpocketed. And if it's the bandit, I'm going to be so mad. 
Because he sh she should be dead. Look at him. Why are they alliance with the fucking dragon? He dodged it. This guy's got strategy. Okay, I have to use the resist fire. Like this is this is just too much. Thank God, he's finally dead. Oh my God, why are they fighting me? Why do they still want me? Okay, fifty bucks. I might have to calm him down. Contract. It was the bandit! How could she possibly do that? Wait, is she alive? I think she actually might be alive. I can't believe a bandit, an unnamed level 1 bandit, has set out a hit on me. I am outraged. Oh my god, that was crazy. Alright, you know what's funnily enough? White and Guard Armor is actually the same defense as my Imperial set. So why don't we do what no one has ever done in this game before, and unironically wear this shit. So this is what my current fit is. The novice hood, the leather gauntlets and boots, and the white red and gold uh, tunic. You know what? <laughs> it's not even that bad. I kind of like it. Alright, Borgriff, I'm back. You're not gonna believe what happened. <laughs> there was a bunch of hired thugs, man. It was crazy. Oh, I wish I could have Lydia by my side, but unfortunately, no father wars. Alright, so I think what we're gonna be doing now is we're actually gonna, um, we're gonna improve- Don't talk to me. How- what, what do you need to improve white and guard on? Okay, just leather. Okay, so we're gonna improve on this. Just because, like, it's probably not gonna be- it's gonna be one plus one and plus two, so it's just like- an extra 4 defense, but an extra 4 defense is better than not an extra 4 defense. The next objective is High Hrothgar, obviously. However though, we're gonna quickly go to Riften instead. There's two things in Riften that I would like. Thing number one is south of Riften, I think it's literally on my compass, yeah you can literally see it. If I can even get up to it, like holy shit, this is the most convoluted uh, you can calm. Okay, he's too high level. You can calm. You can calm. Okay, let's just accept the Shadow Stone and just run. Okay, we can fast travel back to the stables. Good, good, good. I said there was two things I wanted in Riften. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the text? Blah, 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 blah. Obviously a shakedown. The second thing that I want from Riften is I want to join the Thieves Guild. First of all, you have to do it for the main questline anyways. Not only do you have to do it for the Thieves Guild questline, but you also can get Thieves Guild armor once you join. And I really want that, because it has a few good enchantments, and it has, I think, better defense than what I'm wearing right now. Basically, we just have to steal a silver ring from Medesi and plant it on Grand Shea. I'm sure you've all seen this before. You remind me of the shadow scales. You remind me of the shut up. Alright, come on. A Desi's silver ring. And... Oh, we did it. Nice. Brynjolf, I completed it. Alright, a chance arrangement. Now we have to go to the rat way, which would impress Brynjolf. Yeah, 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 public notice. Um... Let's just recast my four. Damn it, I missed. Okay, let's just make them fight. And then I'll use my calm ability once one of them wins. These two have been like lifelong friends, I think. But my illusion magic just completely ruined their friendship. Hey, get calmed. It's just... Hopefully... Okay, that was good enough. Hello, Brynjolf, I made it. This next bit, we have to go intimidate three, quote, deadbeats who owe Brynjolf money. Oh, come on. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, this guy is gonna still be here, isn't he? Oh, he's... He's chill, okay. This is taking a shockingly long time. I think it's because I'm not doing any damage. Let's just quickly speed this up, I think. <laughs> Get the message. Alright, second stop is Helga's bunkhouse. She is a lot more easy. For uh, Helga, you just get the statue of Debella. And... Please, don't take should the I statue. drop this down a well? I hope you choke on it. Thank you. I will choke on it. Alright, last is Kirava. Look, take this. Every single coin I owe is there. 
I swear it. Yep, yep, yep. Welcome to the so I'm a member of the family now. Simple. Yay! Here she is. Here's your armor. Just make sure. So this gives me 20 extra carry capacity, and it has uh, four better defense than what I have right now. It's okay. It's not exactly what I wanted. Pickpocket success is 15% better. Don't care about that. It just I care about the defense. Lock picking 15% easier. Don't care about that. And the hood, I'm just going to straight up get rid of because I'm going to be using my novice hood anyways. And boom, boom, boom. This is what we're currently uh, rocking. So the reason I did that, like I said, was for the extra defense. I'm pretty sure that Thieves Guild armor has even better defense than the leather armor. Making it, even though the enchantments aren't particularly useful to me, it took almost no time to get and the defense is good. Oh my god, she is really getting on my nerves. This should be the last time that I come by the rat way though, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, the reason we're going to Windhelm is because I'm also going to join the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, let's talk to the crazy kid. You alright? Alright, so now we're gonna go kill Grillard the Kind. At first glance, this kind of seems impossible because obviously you have to attack Grelid in order for her to die, even though you only have to do like literally one damage. I have a trick up my sleeve. So Courage did seem to damage people, so I might actually just see if that's good enough. It's not good enough. That doesn't matter though. <laughs> Let's give her- Whoa! Whoa, why are you attacking me? Come on. Kill Grilla the Kind! Mim oh, she's too powerful, eh? What about now? Did that? I don't know if it did it. <laughs> okay, Grilla the Kind is dead. Let's just run. Actually, may maybe I should submit to the guard. Oh my god. She's kid- No! Don't do it! Who's gonna take care of the kids? Oh, thank god. Aventus... She's dead. Alright, now it's just, uh, play the waiting game. Like, literally, the waiting game. Gotta wait for the courier to show up. In the meantime, I do need to sell some items. Hey, there he is. I've been looking for- Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty- Looks like that's it. Got to go. We know. Oh god, that's so creepy and mysterious. I better go sleep. Wait a minute. Can I even do this? I just realized I have to kill one of these three people. Can I even do that? Um, oh, I think I can. Sleep. Anyway, shut up, Astrid. Now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. You don't leave this shack until someone dies. Okay, um, does this do anything? No, it wouldn't, would it? But, I think this would. <laughs> Alright, come on. Make your choice, Astrid. Good choice. Oh wow, she does damage, damage. Oh wow. I just have to wait about 60 seconds, I think. Calm down, Astrid. You're not thinking straight. You've had a lot to drink. Oh, okay, she's calm. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? <laughs> we? Aren't you the overachiever, Astrid? Here we go. Okay, you are very fucking loud. Uh, the music of life? Silence, my brother. No, that wasn't my answer. I was just telling you to be quiet. A welcome home present. So kind of you. Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. So we actually do have a few options, as there is, like, extra Dark Brotherhood sets in this first room. Shrouded Armor. Increased poison resistance by 50%. Mmm. Not really useful, and has the same defense, so I'm gonna say no. The wearer is muffled and moves silently. Yes, even though it has one worse defense, this is the better choice. It's way better than just pickpocket. This is sort of good, although I do quite like the uh, Magicka from my regular hood. This is not good, as it is destruction and not illusion. I think I might as well just equip this, just to keep the fit looking consistent, you know? And the gloves, we have a choice between 15% extra lock picking, a backstab. I mean, I'd rather have the lock picking, even though it's pretty useless and it doesn't match the fit. You know, it 
It is a little bit better, and it has one extra defense. So we're sneaking 25% better, which is really good. Also, along with the fact that we now have muffled um, movement, basically means that we're not going to get detected at all. You know, I actually think I might try to use the, um, the Thieves Guild armor piece as opposed to the Dark Brotherhood one, because I think the 20k capacity is much better than poison resistance. Because, like, it, why would I get poisoned if I'm going to be impossible to, to detect, you know what I mean? We're going to make um, a silver ring and a silver necklace, and we're going to enchant those with Fortify Magicka. That way we can have the Magicka boost that we want, and the sneak boost from the hood. We can have our cake and eat it too. And jewelry. One silver necklace and two rings. Now, all we do is disenchant this. Boom, Grand Sword Gem, and an extra 20. Wow, that's actually a lot more than I thought I would get at level zero. I thought I'd be, like, getting 10 each. But not. Ah, look at that. You can just drop the Amulet of Debella. So, in total, we are permanently muffled. We have 25% better sneaking, 40 extra Magicka, 20 extra carry capacity points, and lockpicking is 15% easier. All of this, and we do have decent... Defense, level 50. Well, not level 50, it is just 50 defense. Not the best, but not the worst. I mean, the enchantments is definitely extremely helpful. I am gonna quickly just get to illusion level 40. Alright, there we go. And for the heck of it, let's put one more point into Magicka. Now we can have all of my illusion spells work on higher level people. That is very good. It is high time, I think, that we actually advance the storyline, so let's go to Helgen and walk down to Iverstead. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you calm down, big man. Go back to your honey strand cave. I really like Illusion, actually. It kind of allows me to just uh, ignore a lot of very annoying slash difficult situations. If this video does good, I was planning on doing a video where I try to beat Skyrim Necromancy only. Yeah, it's kind of sad actually because this video was supposed to be Skyrim Necromancy only, except I recorded that video and my mic was like broken, like it, my mic just did not actually pick up my voice. So unfortunately, that video is lost to time. It really sucks too because I liked recording it on my first attempt, so I think it's a bit more authentic, you know? Like, the video would be less fun if it was me already knowing what to do and, you know, already having reacted to every, you know, situation that I would experience. Like, without spoiling it too much, because I still might actually do that video. But, um, it was Ustengrav was extremely funny and exciting because of a little trick I used. And now, if I want to record the video again, I'm either going to have to not have the same reaction or I'm gonna have to fake it and that's really annoying because I liked I liked the reaction I gave and yeah, I liked how everything played out the first time but yeah let me know in the comments I guess if that video sounds interesting to you I really enjoy the magic in Skyrim and I like you know especially considering it is quite a challenge to actually beat the game using only a specific type of magic you know especially the ones that don't directly do damage themselves but yeah, enough uh, talking about content creation. Let's uh, go talk to the Greybeards. Oh boy. I don't actually know if I'm strong enough to calm him down. I am. That is quite shocking. Illusion magic is OP. And that's just Apprentice. Like, I was thinking about going to the Cottage of Winterhorde to get some Adept level spells, but... I mean, we, we may not even need to. Alright, we made it. I think I'm going to skip through most of this. Like, I'm probably just going to edit most of this out because it is extremely slow. Stand next to me, Master Boris. All right, all right, I got this, I got this, I got this. Use your will when I got it, bro. <laughs> Let's go! Warwood Sprint Legend! All right, the Horn of Jorgen the Windcaller. That is just outside of the abandoned shack, funnily enough. See, it was all part of my plan. Like, it's all coming together, guys. So if I'm being brutally honest, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. So I think instead of making them attack each other and all that fun stuff, I may just calm everybody down and do it the calming way. Okay, I don't know why she's still mad. 
Okay, she resists calm, I think, because she's undead. Uh, maybe if I just run away, she will give up. Yep, she gave up. So, this room, I'm going to do the invis strategy. We have 60 seconds. Thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. <laughs> Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. Argonians in a blizzard. Uh, is Argonians really known for the being extra slow? Okay, we, it's been about 20 seconds. As long as I don't physically bump into any of these guys, they will not detect me. Although they are moving rather unpredictably. Uh-oh. I have like 20 seconds left. I don't know if I can outlast that. I think we may need to... Just... Quick, 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 quick. I think I have 10 seconds. Oh my god, wait, let's quickly just check. 14 seconds. Okay, just need to get around this corner and then... Okay, we made it. Now we can wait 24 hours to get my ability back. And then just use it again. Easy as that. Hee hee hee. Don't mind those ribs. They just have a mind of their own, you know what I mean? Is he gonna move out of the way? Or is he gonna be annoying? Oh, thank you, my friend. Alright, let's see. Ooh, I can even loot. Oh no, I can't. Shit, I forgot. Uh, that should be fine. As long as they're not directly in front of me, they shouldn't see me. Beautiful. That's what you love to see. This is just a pacifist run at this point. Okay, there's enemies nearby. Which way is he facing? Okay, that's good. He shouldn't detect me. So I kind of want to just drop down, but... Okay, that's skeleton. Yeah, like I said, you kind of can't use illusion on undead or at least not at this level should i go get that show nah okay but i'm gonna do what's known as the quick r run maneuver <laughs> the quick run maneuver is actually very effective as you can see this next spot is gonna be a tiny bit tricky as we have, I think, three that I have to calm down, and one of them is pretty high level. So, let's get the little ones calmed. And... I'm going to have to use Highborn. Quick! Quick! Okay, that was good enough. Holy... I didn't think it would, it would be. Um, I have to use Flames to break these webs. That doesn't count, though. Don't worry. It doesn't count. Because that technically isn't an enemy. I didn't do any damage to anything, so... It's all good in the hood, baby. Mysterious notes. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Two restoration enchanted items. Not one for illusion. Oh, my God. These guys may be too high level. I don't know what you're talking about. Fall on deaf ears, deceiver. None How about you bear witness to this dick, bitch? She's already yeah, get him, Alvor. <laughs> Look at him, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's better be really angry in about 50 seconds. There you go, get some extra HP, bud. I believe in you. Uh-oh. Okay, good, good job. Let me loot him. I wonder if I should, uh, maybe... Just make him... Oh, I guess I, I have to dual cast it. Probably. Please don't kill Alvor, for God's sake. Yeah, just focus me a little bit, I guess. I don't mind. I can take it. Good job, my friend. 